tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 7. We're back here in Forza Motorsport 7, staring at that beautiful R35 drift build. But that is for another episode. Today, we're here to do something else. I had a lot of fun last time doing stock drift cars, basically trying to find some cars stock and drift them. So I figured we'd do another episode here, but do this one more European style and get into some BMWs, stock BMWs, see what we can do with these stock BMWs in this game. So let's just hop right into it. Hop into free play. Got the full wheel setup. Logitech G920 base with the modified buttons to the side. 350 millimeter energy innovations wheel. Minty green and Nero chrome. Custom hydraulic handbrake. Six speed shifter, full gas brake clutch inverted underneath. And sitting in my beautiful suede and black geo black energy innovation seat so we're going to uh select race settings here we're definitely going to go drifting and we're going to set it to eh, what we'll just set it you know what we're not even going to do drift points well we probably should do drift points drift points five minutes probably won't run five minutes we're going to head to one of my favorite drift tracks, but we're going to be throwing these cars as hard as we can. We go into Maple Valley, select cars, rent cars, drifting rental cars, what could go wrong? And then we're going to go to BMW, not Bowler. BMW, the first one we're going to probably run, we're going to run the M4 GTS. We'll probably run the M2. Uh, I don't think we'll run the i8. We might. We got the stock M4, we got the M6, the M5, Z4, the M1. We got a whole slew of BMWs that we're gonna probably we're gonna probably stick to the higher end BMWs. So we're gonna start off with this GTS here at Maple Valley. Make sure we hit our A button with our wheels so that we don't have any force feedback issues. So I wanna hop back into Forza Motorsports, get some slides on. And uh, have a little fun with some stock cars. So if you guys want to see more Forza Motorsport 7, don't forget to tap that like button and subscribe down below if you have not already do so. As well as comment in the comment section down below if there's something you want to see. Maybe a different type of stock drift cars. You know, who knows? Alright, first car, BMW M4 GTS. I've actually got a chance to be in one of these in real life and these things are insane. The matte gray, the orange cage in the back. So, first lap, stock drift cars. BMW GTS. See what we can do. Uh, okay, that's uh, a lot better than I thought it was gonna do. Down chip, little clutch kick. Keep the points going. Okay, so this GTS handles a lot better than I thought it was going to. It didn't handle that great at all in Forza 7, save that, or Forza 7, we're in Forza 7, in Horizon 3, Ooh. okay, so this GTS handles uh, very well, actually, we're going to see if we can't whip this and, you know, do a nice uh, transition through this, maybe a little wall tap, here we go, kick it in, kick it sideways, kick it back, oh, we hit grass, that's not going to work. I mean, we saved it somewhat, but not the entry I wanted to do in this car. But not too horrible. We kind of survived a little bit. There we go. The e-brake on this thing works so well. This thing actually handles so much better than I thought. Now, these cars are stock because I am just renting them. So this is off the showroom floor drift cars. And this thing is getting all kinds of sideways. This thing's actually a lot of fun. Ooh. I didn't think I was going to make all the way up that, so I kind of chickened down a little bit. Clutch kit to keep that going. There we go. Ooh, those backfires are so beautiful in this car. We're going to lose that. Ugh. We lost it. This is some very bright reverse lights. So, M4, GTS. Um, 10 10. We'll drift this again. 
I rhymed there. I didn't even notice that, but that's cool. This car's a lot of fun to slide around. I wonder if the normal M4 is going to be just as fun. Probably not, because this is GTS, so it has more power. It's got some downforce. Ooh, there we go. All right, we're going to try and rip this front section again real quick. Want to get to all, try to get to as many of these BMWs as I can. Ooh, we're going to lose that. Yep. Okay, well, I guess that's time to end that BMW. <laughs> Sorry, Germany. Uh, that one's broke. <laughs> Whoops. Well, we wrecked the GTS, so not a, not a perfect way to end that, but a good way to start it, you know, getting real sideways in that car. All right, so next BMW on our docket in this stock rental car drift extravaganza in the European world of BMWs is the BMW M2 2016. These cars sound also amazing. Because I work for BMW as a technician, I've had a chance to drive a lot of these cars, and they are a blast to drive. So, here we go, BMW M2. Not as much power as the other one, so I don't know how this is going to work, but we're sending it. We're staying third. Okay. Not as much angle as the M4, but it's definitely holding it oh and we're gonna link those points okay um BMW M2 stock yup all right so far this is probably my favorite car right now um the GTS was awesome but this car I think uh trumps that we we'll try and do this transition here kick it sideways kick it back we didn't hit the grass, we're gonna run the grass line. Oh no! Save it, don't crash, we're good. That was almost beautiful. M2 is a little bit more skeety, I would say, than the uh, GTS. But I think it's because the GTS has a rear wing and front diffuser. It gives it a little bit more downforce on this car. But, both cars are fun. This M2, I think, can slide a little bit more. It probably doesn't have as grippy tires either. That's going to wreck. Oh, how did we not wreck that? And we saved our points. I'm uh, definitely impressed with both these cars right now. Oh, geez. And then we lose it just by clipping the grass. Ah, oh, get wrecked. So... So far, I'm definitely impressed with both these BMWs so far. Oop, I was a little slow on my transition there. Don't wreck. I don't want to wreck two of these cars. BMW won't let me rent anymore if I do. Get a call from Germany. You can't drive our cars anymore. Even though I work for you guys, you still won't let me drive the cars. Sad. All right. I'm gonna rip it into the main turn like we did the GTS. Unless we went head on to that wall, then we would have died. And it would have been over. We will have it no more. Done. Alright, here we go. Get a little airborne off that. Jump, and we Oh, I thought we could do the same thing. Going a little too hot. So, uh, M2. Uh, yep. So far, M2 is probably my favorite between the two. I'm gonna go right into the next car here. Rental cars. So glad renting cars doesn't cost money, and if it does, I don't. I haven't been paying attention, so hopefully it does not. Past BMW. Where'd BMW go? All right, BMW. I think we're gonna skip over the i8 and the X5M because that's all the drive, or X6M, and we're gonna go next to the stock M4. Now we did race the GTS, and it handled pretty well. I don't think this. Uh, Stock M4 is going to do as good as that GTS because of the power difference. But, you know, you will find out. Can definitely tell the power difference. To be like the M2. Uh, yeah, you can definitely see the loss of power there. So, 
not as good on the sweeper as the other two. Maybe good in the latter section of this track. That was pretty nice. Snap back. Don't lose that. Trying to be more smooth on the wheel here. All right, let's see if we can get this transition. We failed it with the first two. Maybe the M4 will be good in this transition and not good in the sweeper, but we'll find out. E brake, little clutch kick, get it sideways. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Duh, that was probably my fault. I probably did not anticipate that to snap as hard as it did. So, M4, uh, stock M4, not the best. If it was a little bit tuning, it'd probably be, be a little more power. I think the yeah, suspension's there. It feels nice. I just don't think the power is there. Yeah, it, it, it dies out. A little more power in this car would probably be mint. So we're gonna end the M4 there. Because, uh, yeah, that's just, yeah, we can just keep going. To the next car in this stock drift build BMW showdown. If you guys haven't tried drifting stock cars, it's a lot of fun. You guys should definitely try it. I would try recommending you've seen these BMWs because these things are really fun. M6. She's a big girl, but not as big as this M5 down here. But M6 is first. M6. Let's uh, let's see how we go. Ooh, sounds good. I actually have one of these I'm working on currently that has a brake issue, but... Hopefully this one doesn't have a brake issue. There we go. You can definitely tell the power is here. Yep, the power is definitely here in this M6. It's running that outside edge. Okay, so, so far, I think this tops the other three cars that we've driven so far. Don't lose that. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, uh, <laughs> well... I'm gonna have to redeem myself on that turn because uh, that was that was that was terrible. So let's see what we can do in this little SE transition. Hopefully we don't wreck this car because this car handles pretty good. We break in early, nice and wide. There we go. Kick it back. Third. There we go. Oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. I'm gonna hold that out too. Alright, M6, definitely. The cars keep getting better and better as we can go on. In this episode, we're gonna lose those points too. Don't lose those. Oh my god. So many points. I'm definitely gonna be picking one of these cars up for myself. This car is insane. I do like the orange too. Look at that. Just has the power for days. running that outside edge of all these turns. Oh, and then get snapped back. Because I eased off the gas because I uh, got scared over the hill. Alright, so this M6, pick one of these up yourself if you can because, uh, and just throw it around. If you want a good car to learn some nice control on and not have to worry about tuning it too much, uh, this M6 is probably the way to go. It's got a good power, it's got good weight to throw around. It's, uh, it handles pretty well, especially on the wheel. Oh, well, as I say that, we go ahead first into the wall. But I need to redeem myself on this first turn in this first section because it would have been so nice to link that entire section. And I think this M6 can do it. This thing is insanely fun. All right, here we go. Ease up a little bit. So we don't overshoot it. There we go. Let's kick it in. Rev it out in third gear. Not as nice as the first time, and I can't redeem myself. Well, I tried, but I failed. So we're gonna switch cars up now. Get another car out here. I think we're going to that big drift taxi that is that M5. <laughs> this thing drifts nice too. Like this M6, we're going to be probably building a drift taxi. 
big old yellow and black BMW M5. Nope, oh, too far. All right, our next car on the chopping block is this 2012 BMW M5. I don't want to select car. I already selected cars. Go back. I want to race. Race cars. There we go. Alright, here we go. BMW M5. Let's, uh... Throw it in. Oof. So, not as great on that super as I was hoping, but... That's nice, though. That's nice and smooth. There we go. That's nice. So far, so good. Let's see what we can do in this part. Hopefully, we can get a good one. Like that M6. Take it sideways. Ooh, way too sideways. I can save that. Just tap. That was more than just a tap. I totally just screwed up my entry into that so we're probably gonna try and get another lap with this m5 all right we're gonna get a restart with this m5 i feel like this m5 can do it and uh it's gonna give us one another go all right one more try with this M5 here. There we go. A little bit better of an entry. I don't think it has the power that that M6 does. So I feel like I'm going to be doing an M6 build. But we still kind of kept our points. Surprisingly. As long as we don't wreck it. I've never noticed that plane before. That scared the crap out of me. Alright, so let's see what we can do to this section. We're going to try not to enter in too early this time. Alright, here we go. Too early. Hold that out. We're good. We got it. That's going to be too long. Saved it, though. Definitely save that. Don't know how. Not gonna ask questions. So I think the M6 is probably my favorite of all of these cars, and I think that's gonna be the last one we're gonna try. Because uh this M5 is pretty fun actually. Could make a good drift car out of this as well. But that M6 I think handled so far the best. So I think it's time to take that M6 to Dubai, give it a one run through Dubai, and see how it goes there. BMW M6, my favorite of the ones we drove today, stock Dubai. Let's go. Let's see what we can do here in Dubai in this M6. Let's get it. Hopefully we can... Uh, do this M6 justice. First turn. Oh yeah. We're building one of these. If you guys want to see a drift build on this M6, let me know down in the comment section down below. Full drift build looking into the hole in and out like I did on my 458 build. Yes. This car is awesome. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I should not be having this much fun with a stock car, but we are. Oh, just tap. It was just a tap. We didn't lose our points. We did lose a tail light, though, but it's okay. Probably end up buying this car afterwards, so, you know, I wreck it. I'll buy it. I'll buy it from him. Got the money. Definitely got my Forza Hub coming in. 225k right there. 
Definitely use that to do a nice build. This thing is getting it. Ooh, that turn almost got me, though. No! Uh, I spoke too soon. Not horrible. I feel like this car would probably do a lot better on a downhill, but... Maybe a good suspension setup. Some better braking. A little, maybe a little more power, not much. Maybe gear ratio changed a little bit, but this car is pretty dialed from the get-go. Just tap. This car has so many just a taps. Phone is going off. I don't know why. All we got is our third brake light now, so. Nope. That wasn't very graceful. Nor was that. Reverse entry. Wall tap. <laughs> if that only worked. We're going to hit that. Yep. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7. If you guys want to see more on Forza Motorsport 7, don't forget to tap that like button, subscribe if you're not. I do appreciate all the support from you guys. If you guys want to see a drift build on this M6, let me know down in the comment section as well. If you guys want to see any other cars built, let me know. I am going to be doing the GTR that you saw in the beginning of this episode, a full break breakdown of the specs on that GTR. Um, have a lot of fun with that car. It actually uh, gets in the drift and sits there you know, without very minimal work. So, I'll be giving a full lowdown on that on a later episode. So until next time, guys, you know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below wall. And as always, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. And I'm Wall tap. Cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign And she boring Love the way you twerk a shot